What's going on guys? It's your boy Young and today I'm gonna be installing my new handlebars for the YZ250. As you can tell, here's bent. Look at it. Look at that joint. Cricket is I don't know what. This is my first video recording on my brand new camera. I'm still kind of getting used to it, so I'm excited. And I'm looking at the screen instead of the lens, so I gotta practice on that too. But here we go. We're gonna be installing the new aftermarket water pro taper handlebars here. And I might even throw them in there, the grips. Yeah, so why not? Alright, so first we're gonna be uh, unscrewing the clutch here. It's two 8mm bolts. I'm gonna do it evenly. And while I'm on this side, I'm gonna take the kill switch off too. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. Try not to be so rough. And the metal clamp should fall off. There it is. There it is. Oh, whole bunch of stuff falling off. So, we will keep these. Put the kill switch two pieces to the side. I'm just set these right here. The ones that go to the clutch, I'm gonna just put them back in there. So we ain't gotta worry about that. And we will do the other side. All right. Put that back in there. So we don't lose anything. And you can just let this hang. Then we're gonna take this joint off. I already had it unstrapped. I think we're gonna need that. Then we're gonna get the 10 mil, I think it's 10 millimeter socket. Yeah, that's a 10. For the four bolt screws that's on the middle of the handlebar. And let's remember how we got this lined up. So when we're putting it on, it'll be exactly the same. Go to my doctor's appointment in an hour for my pen here. Hopefully they take that out today. I think they, that's what they're gonna do. Uh oh, sliding. Hey, messing up my video here. My dog. Y'all know him. He just turned one yesterday. Look at the big drooler. For these joints, these reusable joints, I think you just lift up, lift up. Okay, there's one on the kill switch. Let's just put that back. There's two on the kill switch. All right, so we took the reusable zip ties. I unhooked them from the handlebar. Now we just got that. Uh, yeah, so dang, I need a throttle house. Cause this all banged up. See that piece there? Just broke, and I'm pretty sure it's another piece. There we go. I probably should have did this before I untighten the handlebars. So these took two eight millimeter sockets. All right. Now that is off. The old cricket joint and the new pro taper babies. Yeah. Alright, here's the new babies. Let's take this off and let's put these on here. We can start aligning it. And it's probably better to use a torque wrench for this, although I don't have one, but we'll be alright. Not too tight, but not too loose. Not actually. I'm, I am gonna make this tight on here. I ain't gonna strip it though. Alright, so I got them on. 
but that throttle housing being broke don't know if I want to use that joint of course not so and Psycho Specialties does not have it so I don't know I'll probably have to order it because I wanted to ride this weekend all right guys it's like the next day and uh, I had to bring the video in the garage and it is nighttime so we're gonna finish the video up here because we are not done as you can see still got a we got the bar on I just gotta take them four bolts bolts off as you can see like there's like a little gap there so I'm gonna like loosen these two and then just tighten the front ones up first because my boy told me that uh just tighten those up first and then tighten these up last and uh then we'll put the clutch and brake and all that in oh and one other thing uh with my throttle housing here broke i'm gonna still put it on until my new one gets in but because i don't think it's gonna make a difference right now about me showing you how to put my handlebars on so we're gonna do that and then that'll be it Tightening up the front ones. I got two on. As you can see, those are on, looking good. Now I'm gonna just tighten up the back ones. Oh, fuck. I'm actually gonna loosen these because I need to put this throttle on first. All right, so we got that on. All right, so now it's time to put the clutch on. It's your eight millimeter socket. You just twist these off. Oh, and this little sticker here, if y'all can see, I would just get like a, a blow dryer or something and just uh, get that warm and it'll peel right off. I ain't gonna do it in this video because I don't feel like going to get it, but I will do that when I get some more time and I'll do it on my own time. But that is the, I'm gonna loosen this a little bit because I feel like it's too far. Too far out. I'm gonna slide it in. Out. Right there feels good. Now for the brake. Same thing as before with the other side with the clutch. Same screws. Just tighten them back up. Pretty much the hard part is doing it for real. Or the main part. Make sure you test the feel this out. This is where you want it to be. I'm sure I got these on like probably the wrong way. I have to adjust and turn these. I don't remember how they was, but I'll do that. That's little stuff, that's minor stuff. Right now we're just gonna get it on. Don't worry about that later. Uh, Y'all can tell, I got my pen out. It was right there. Surgery was right there. So, I'm technically still not clear, but I like to do anything. But at this point, I don't give a fuck. Do not tell me I'm missing two pieces. I'm just set these right here. Do not tell me. Besides the piece here. Dang, I already, I 
Alright. Alright, people. That is how you install your aftermarket handlebars. I still gotta put my grips on, but those are not handlebars. Y'all want me to throw the grips on real quick? Bye. Nope, I can't because I don't have my throttle thing and I don't know, I might get a whole new throttle tube or some shit. I can throw this one on. Nope, I can't because I still gotta get the blow dryer for that. So no, I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do the the uh, grips right now. I will put slap those on another time when I'm getting ready to do another vlog or something and wrap or whatever. It usually take no time. But the main part's done. The main part's done and that's it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I appreciate everybody for following. I look, I feel so legit. I got this like green light now. But I feel so legit with this light now. Like I just wanna make like videos and videos and videos. Maybe I'll make a video of just cleaning this dusty ass garage in here. Cause look how dusty my bike is now. Look at that. Look at that. Dirty. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. Anyway, that's disgusting. That is gonna be it, folks. I'll see y'all in the next video.